Berkshire. Now entering the ring, Class 3 Berkshire Gilts. The judging contest is starting in approximately 8 minutes in the North Sheep Barn. The junior judging contest is starting in approximately 8 minutes in the Sheep Barn. Do you need to get going for the judging contest, Will, or you decided to... Speaking of not being allowed around kids, I don't think you're <laughs> over... They don't let you over there. <laughs> Got class three Berkshire gilts in the ring. This right. one here gathers a pin pretty quick out of the gate. 119.5. As well as 153.5, or one fifty three five. excuse that's a, me. That's a 1.5 and a 3. A traveler female. No, the, the kids I don't have a problem with. It's it's old ladies they won't let me go anywhere near. Well, because it can't outrun you. 182. Work smarter, five. not harder, I always say. Well, I think that's like the Iowa motto, isn't it? <laughs> Unless you're in western Iowa, then it's just don't work. Just mow your grass, watch it raining. No, don't mow your grass either. That wouldn't be. <laughs> Getting into some bigger girls here. One sixty-nine six got her a good look. Yeah, It'll be a G dog. Really heavy bone, stout featured one there. G dog got her a pin. One forty-eight five coming in the ring now. A two-tone. More difference in size here in this class, but uh, quality-wise, again, I think we got a pretty nice deep class here to work through. One fifty-one five comes in next. Um, that'd be Lane Lewis from Indiana. That's uh, another keep talking daughter. That one's got a stout old noggin on her. That one's fast. <laughs> got two more coming in. Looks like an Austin Lane entry. I don't see the number yet on that, but Austin's got one coming at 190. 197-5 from Stanley, Indiana. Big old broody Sal there that gets a pen right right away. Yep. And then uh, maybe a little more uh, the barrel look to this one coming next uh, that Austin's got. She also will gathers get, a pen. Gathers a pen right away. Really pretty fronted, tall fronted girl there. Young lady in the red, 182.5. It's a good headed muscular one there. Be another G dog. A lot of different types and kinds in this particular class, but you know, a lot of different pieces a guy can work with too. You know, yeah, with, different strokes for different folks. Yeah. You know, we talk about, always talk about trends and and uh, making them the way they wanted to, to look. But with, you've been breeding hogs as long as we've been around to this thing a lot um, and, and kind of together and grew up with it together. And, and those that separate themselves use their own mind and, and, and buy the ones they they think they need, not what uh, maybe everybody else needs. And there's several guilts in here, guys, can, depending on what you're wanting to do, can, really move you forward, I think. Sure. 
Speaking of growing up, you can grow up. I'm I'm not going to. That sounds overrated. Well, that's a parent. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm very comfortable <laughs> being a kid. May get older, but I'm not growing up. Well, that's why you're loud, loud around kids, because you are yeah. one. They just I go to that. If it wasn't for all we're the on hair the same on your, level. Yeah, if it wasn't for the hair on your face, they would think you were one. Yeah. So. It probably would be good to get potty trained at some time, though, Will. I mean, just. Eh, it's overrated, too. <laughs> just from presentation, you know, we talk about that in the show ring. you got to have them presented, right? Yeah. yeah. You with that easy old cleaner works pretty good. Wet pants in the show yeah. ring doesn't. To those around the outside, a ring help a is uh, not paying attention. Go figure. Mr. Whipple on the board is too busy studying the hogs to help out in the ring. But he's trying to get him a bird's eye view of this thing. That's right. He's doing a recon mission. I've done I've done that a time or two though. Grab one of them hurdles and. I think you, you just did it in the ring because you don't. I've seen you judge before, and sometimes <laughs> it looks like you bumped your head. So <laughs> I figured you're just trying to sneak one down the line somewhere so you can get one no, stuck out. That's just me trying to bury you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you can't beat them, judge the show. Then you can. Then you See? can beat them. Yeah. One nineteen five comes out uh, out of the first hole here for reevaluation. Really nice guilt. Sound got kind of the combination guilt maybe of the class from yep. soundness and still has a good look to her. 153.5 is out next. Miss Anna Link. I don't know if that's Anna showing or she just helping out with somebody else, but that the stout old gal she's driving. 169.6 is out next. That's a G-Dog. A little different looking, Gil. Really extended up front. Mm -hmm. Really sound. Maybe not as much mass as some, but really unique to be One. that extended. Still have that much pipe on her. She's a yep. 148.5. Out next. Night Genetics. Knights, Knights sure aren't a stranger to the Berkshire ring either. They have really, those two young men have, have uh, really come out to play here in the last couple of years. And, Brought a lot of good hogs to show. Our Berkshire guys are having to take down some of the decorations. Our showmen have gotten a little taller since <laughs> the last couple of days. Yeah. Whipple's being useful now. There you go. He's pulling the string. Got all three inches off of it. Yeah. Mr. Stanley showing off the excellent showmanship skills. Showing his big old broody gilt. 197.5. Be a Monopoly smoking gun. It's a sowy looking thing there. And after he kind of got got a little sword on, you know, there's still some variation out there, but them's a, that's a good set of gilt. Yeah, real nice. You know, we last year, you know, we mentioned last year's show and sale, and I thought the boards last year were just just tremendous. You know, depth and quality at the top, but depth in the sale as well, and. But, you know, to be honest, I thought the guilt show was maybe lacking a little bit of depth. I think maybe so far this show shows me just a little more depth of quality and, and you know, some more pieces a guy can use. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I would say already so far this morning there's 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 more usable guilts than there was last year. Yeah, I, I would agree with you. That's and, good. I'm glad you, you're coming around. See, the more you agree, the... the it doesn't mean it not well. It means I'm right. You're, you're finally right is what I'm saying. Ah, yeah. is that it? Yeah. Not an easy Good job showing here. that pig, young man. She kind of did most of the work herself. Yeah. Mr. Knauth just come set up here yeah. table side with us talking about his, his victory he of the first the, class. She really did all the work for you. He got the work on, though. Look at him sweat. I know. He's sweating. He's not used to actually he's, getting out and doing stuff. Well, he's kind of like me, kind of a fat guy. and it just We just sweat. That's just all there is to it. It's just naturally going to happen. Well, skinny people sweat, too. <laughs> they just don't sweat standing still like you. True. True. Mr. Hoag's 
taking a little more time sorting through this. Got a little more, a little more variation out here, but the depth is probably as good as it's been. So, yeah. wants to make sure he gets it right in his mind, and looks like he's fixing to start pulling the trigger. Well, like you said, it's uh, one of them classes where there is a lot of variation in, in the type and kind of these guilds, but. Um, that being said, they're all really good guilts and just trying to decide which way you want to go with them. Because, I mean, I know we got five we got five of them out here, but being that close, being that close to each other will spread you spread you half a half a day there in the sale order. So, yeah, yeah, but it's like uh, Mr. Lane's gathering a pin, yeah, pin five, he'll do pin five. Just a little raw and a little more immature body type wise than some of the others. Young. So many thoughts are, are going through uh, are going through my mind right now because uh, we are in the middle at our family enterprise of doing a 4-H marathon uh, between trying to get sheep, cattle, and hogs ready for, for shows. Uh, yep, this guy's going three, she's going four. Uh, and trying to keep everybody relatively fresh and upright. And we had a, a lot of hogs shown at Expo, a lot of hogs here trying to get ready to go to the Lemmy Junior Nationals and uh, uh, Louisville next week. And what's interesting out here is I'm trying to make sure that I don't uh, cost anybody any money in, in a sale order. And I want to make sure that there's logic in terms of the alignment. But at the same token, I'm asking myself now, uh, you know, there, there's some guilts out here that I would love to breed on because they've got unique pieces. And so what do you do with the unique piece hogs versus the total hogs in a sale alignment? Because what I might buy might be totally different than what others do. And so I'm going to try to put together the most logical uh, uh, lineup that I can in my mind. And then we'll go from there in terms of uh, where you folks see breeding value uh, in different parts of pieces. The 119.5 Guild, if you want to talk about one that exemplifies balance, one that exemplifies agility, one that exemplifies proportionality, all three of those adjectives can be used to describe this class winning guild in my opinion. I love how this guild gets out and goes. Her body cover appropriately matches her age her maturity, I think her underlying quality is very nice, her head is strong and got Berkshire character to it, her ear sets right, her color's good, I think that is really a, a, just an excellent guilt. I love the extra intangibles of a vulva start to swell after she's been on the road a little bit, I think that is a great kind of a Berkshire female to start with and I think she would pacify or satisfy or excite maybe excites the best word to use, the widest cross-section of buyers within this particular class. The 148.5 Guild initially hit the ring. I said, okay, this is a neat looking one. Where's she gonna set in terms of that big, stout, powerful hind leg relative to a competitive, competitive class of Berkshire Guilds? The longer this guilt's out here, the more female characteristics she brings to the table in terms of length of front, length of body, natural lean shape down her top, and got an extra good body shape shape in terms of her rib design. She's not puffy, she's lean, she's appropriate, she's really, really good. When you go to mate this Berkshire female, obviously you're gonna wanna select a boar that sets back on his ankle, just, just a nickel differently than what she does. After that, I think that is an extra good Berkshire female that got really good extensions, really good uh, uh, pattern to her. The next one coming out, uh, uh, it's interesting, and this gentleman was doing a nice job of driving his Berkshire guilt, but you gotta keep in mind, I got my 4-H dad mentality on right now, and he had her kind of buried over here in the corner, and I was about to talk to you like Carter and Nolan, like, you gotta get this thing going, man, this is the heat. He, he, you did not win the showmanship contest. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but this is an extra, extra good power sow. Love the body, love the grow, the performance, the durability that this female presents. And I asked him a couple times, hey, just get her going forward a little bit. That's all I need is about three steps. Bottom line, I don't know where this guilt fits for you in a buying public, but I think this is a brood sow waiting to happen when set back into production. Maybe not as aggressive in her top shape as the two that precede 
leader, but really, really good. Young lady on the opposite end of the showmanship spectrum. This one's doing very, very good, driving an extra good guilt. Uh, bone and substance to me will, uh, for my personal preference, will never go out of style. I love the density, I love the feature, I love the comfort of this Berkshire female. She's a little cresty neck, closes up a little underneath, but that one's flexible, loose structured and comfortable out here. There's a great deal of value in that gill. I tried to tell our students at Western uh, that you need to find value in different kinds and different types. If you want to put a breeding program together that has longevity, 149.5, there are parts of this gill that I just want to take right now, load on my trailer, go home and see what we can do. That thing is cool fronted, stout skull, big feet. I love everything about her out here. The challenge is I'm trying to be a Berkshire uh, breeder and a, a mentality. This is a unique breeding piece within a population, but do we want a whole bunch of them that look like her? I wasn't sure. She just a little wound up back there in her ham loin, little straighter hog, but man, where this thing's good, she will make the next generation really, really cool. I like that guilt. I personally struggle to know where to put her within a sale lineup. The 169.6 uh, guilt from a profile, I'm 100% in. Big, stout, bones, you know, compact in her body design, good in her head and neck, goes away, just closes up a little too much, uh, that more than what I'd like to see. Stoutest gold one comes in seven, we, just really, really bold and powerful, a little plainer featured, a little soft. From there on down, we get into some structure issues uh, that I guess I was not comfortable in hind leg design. They've got shape, they've got muscle. Check them out, I talked too long. That was a great class of Berkshire females. Winning class three, Berkshire Guilds. Congratulations to Bristol Brunton of Victor, Iowa. Second in class, Knight Genetics, Armstrong, Illinois. Third, Stanley Family, Coatesville, Indiana. Fourth, Anna Link, Galesburg, Illinois. Fifth, Austin Lane, Sprague,ville Iowa. Placings from top down in your catalog should read 12, 1, 2, 5, 7, 4, 6, 9, 8, 13, 3, 11, 10, 14.